Welcome to CGM's tutorial for Google SketchUp. Here we're going to introduce you to some of the drawing tools that we use in Google SketchUp so that we can draw in layout for our new control room. We see here we have an example of shapes that we can make and we can easily replicate that again just by drawing a circle and when you use the push pull tool to pull that up we can do the same with squares and we use the push pull tool and up it comes and we can we can experiment with this a lot and make all sorts of crazy features and basically the push pull tool uh, makes it very easy to make shapes in Google SketchUp and uh, we'll show you how we can use that to create a layout and to push up the wall, pull up the walls so that we have a control room. We're going to take the uh, rectangle tool here and we're going to create a room and you can see on the bottom right hand uh, corner of the screen there that when I move this the measurements are moving there and they are in millimeters and um, we're going to create a room as 16 meters so we want 16,000 by 14 meters so that's 14 thousand and that is our result a room 16 meters by 4 meters and we can use the measuring tape here and just to be double sure and surely it is 16,000 millimeters and we can also whoop, we're going to put that back and we can also check that way and we have 14 meters that way so that is the beginning of our layout because we need a surface as a floor the next is decide where we want rooms and uh, well we can use the tape measure tool again because it can be quite good too and we can measure out four meters from here so we're going to type in four thousand and we get a line with a cross there we can zoom in on that and we can see it better we get a line with a, zoom, uh, with a thing and then we're going to create another rectangle here and it's going to go like so and we're going to make this 8 meters long by 2.8 meters wide and we're pretty close there but we're going to be we're going to type this in exactly so we want 9,000 comma 2,800 and now we have our room here we're also going to draw a room in here and uh, so, and I'm gonna again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna measure here so that we can get it about right. And I'm gonna come down here six meters. So I'm gonna type in six thousand. There is our cross. We can take a line from there, and we can see that there. When we get anywhere near that end of that guideline, then our pencil goes directly to it. So we click on that, we come out, and we're on the red axis there. And yes, if you, as you see, if you say that you want to, you can do that to get an exact line where you need that. And, uh, yeah, now we're on our way to creating a layout. 
next thing is that we want, want to make walls. These walls, in our case, when we make create walls, we make them 120 millimeters thick. And uh, the reason is that is that um, our doors and windows, our dynamic doors and windows are, are made to work on this thickness of wall. But that's what we're going to choose here. And to make our wall, we're going to use the offset tool. So, we click along the edge we want to offset, and here we go. Now we can just type in how thick we want that offset, and we're going to type in 120, and enter. There we have some walls going around there. But, we have some walls missing here, don't we? We can go in, and there's different ways of doing this. But, we can select this part of the line, till example, and say we're going to move, we're actually going to copy and move that part of the line. So we go to move it, you can see what's happening there, but we press the control to take a copy, and you see we're moving a lot along the green axis there, and then we just type in 120, and now we've got our line copy of outline 120 away from where the last one was and we can do that the same with that here we can copy that one 120 oh we can get rid of that guideline while we're there and that one there we don't need them any longer so we're going to take a copy of that line there to make sure that we press that control 120 and again selecting this one I'm going to move that one copy it 120 and now we have some more walls as it is at the moment I mean, to pull up a wall, we use the offset tool. But as it is, uh, to pull up a push and pull tool, sorry. But as it is at the moment, we are not going to get any walls up. Because to pull up the walls, we need them to be all together as one piece. So we need to make sure that we don't have little pieces like this that are splitting it up. It needs to be one piece. And then we take away that, and we take away that. Take away that. Let's see where we got any more. Take away that one. So that it's just. We take away that. Now we should have one. One piece. And if we select on that, oh. Uh, okay, that's very difficult to select on that we got a wall and we can pull that up and uh, then we can just type in when we're pulling it up there we can just type in exactly how high we want it and we're, in this case we're going to 2.8 meters and let's have a look at our wall now so where we have our our wall so that is how we made our basic layout and we created our walls using the offset tool and then pulled them up using the push and pull tool. Our next task will be to, to put in our components, our doors and windows and, uh, and we'll be a lot closer to having our control room layout. That's it.